Welcome, guys, to the start of a new Let's Play as we take on the next entry in the mainline series, Generation 9 of Pokemon in Pokemon Violet. With an open world game awaiting us with multiple story paths to undertake, all born from that kind of tech demo that was Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I immensely enjoyed. I'm looking forward to finding the fun within this game. And of course, catching a new team out of the 100 plus new Pokemon there are to offer. Streamed live and then cut up in VODs for you on the YouTube. Here comes a full Let's Play as we get the show underway. First of all, we're choosing our character. Choose a look for ourselves. Well, I mean, they all look like me. So pretty, young, fresh. Ah, I know what you mean. They completely look like me right now. I'll choose basic boring boy. <laughs> That's what I am. And name it the traditional name. The strong family name that we've always had. My gaming name, of course. Still no age option. It'd be weird if you were like a 40 year old guy leaving your mum's house for the first time to go to school. <laughs> Come on. Are you ready to start the game with these settings? Oh no, we've got to change. We've got to change the look too, yeah. Where's the bold hairstyle? We have our character. I'm sure we'll be able to change stuff up later via cosmetics. I don't know. Well, we're ready. Let's begin the show. Did I just, like, slowly wake up after filling in my thing? Like, oh? Yeah, that is me. Enrollment complete. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress has been auto-saved. Sure thing. We're at the Uva Academy. Leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. That sounds like a right phrase, the corporate speak. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. This is Director Clavel, the head of Uva Academy. Baldia is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Uva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Well, teachers allowed that kind of haircut. It's very modern, I guess. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. This is a rock. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle going alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Uber Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. I see this was school propaganda. Pokemon Violet begins.
Did you just run out of electric? Ah, he takes double A batteries, that explains things. Now saving bar behind me. Excellent. Oh, see my hair matches my pads. Planned. Style. Today, I am a freckly boy. Where are we off to? It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Bias. Bias. It's my very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. Can't resell that now. Today on... What? <laughs> Suda Adventures? Swede Adventures? Yeah, Swede, like the vegetable. We'll see Mesa Goza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. <laughs> Should turn the TV off first, though. Your mum built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. DIY mum. Can I see the paintings? Oh, this painting is entitled Stretching Woman. It's enchanting. This painting is entitled Windmills on Sky. You can always feel the invigorating breeze. <gasps> is this paint fruit? Oh. I must find out. Before juicing! It just emanates freshness. <laughs> What's the boxes for? We don't know. I take we've got to go this way and follow Muncher over here. That's obviously his name. He says his name, right? Good morning, Olazandri. Oh, ready in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day of your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. It is quite a house, indeed. We are very upper middle classish, I feel. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Alessandri, get the door, would you? What do you work as, mum? Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Okay, sure. That's, that's not wasn't my question. I want to know how we can afford all this. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Alessandri, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Uva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here are, at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Alessandri, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Yes, mum. I'll leave you alone with the man. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Seems there's a lot of first going on here. Is your room upstairs? No need to concern yourself with me. Go on. Uh, I'm suspicious of my mum. Off you, Papa Lazandri. Go to your room and get yourself ready for school. You need your bag and your hat too. Enjoy your cup of tea, I guess. I'll be watching you. I don't let any men near my mum. Ready to put on your hat and your bag? No, I'm actually totally ready to chuck the hat out the window, to be perfectly honest with you.
I mean, the bag's pretty nice. Ugh. So, is this why the pompadour isn't a pompadour? It literally looks like it's made specifically for you to put that hat on. You can press the X button to open the, the main menu. Press the save option from there. Save all the progress we've made. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items designed, including your adventure guide. Okay. Uh, it looks like I'm about to go off yodeling somewhere. Got medicines, battle items, and more. Key items adventure guide. That's literally what you just read. Doesn't seem like I can run, by the way. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our story at Academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I'd entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Alexandria. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the direct route and see, shall we? Yes, ma'am. By your orders. Then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. I've given my guy a quite smug look, haven't I, with that helm? We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the Glass Cat Pokemon. Fulo Coco, the Fire Clock Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. He's got more of a pompadour than me, kinda. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Ah, so it turns out they're most interested in you, Master Lozandri, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. We obtained the Rotom phone. The latest model of smartphone, a Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. Right, one of us. We can play a few coco. Purr noise. What added purr noise? Right then. I still can't run. Grow pumpkins out front. What are you guys looking at? Well, there's our map app. Our Rotom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldia Legion. Adding apps to give it trainers access to a variety of useful functions. Cool. Give us more apps. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the, wrap cursor, the map cursor over your own icon, then move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map, handy for getting yourself orientated. That's actually kind of nice. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations, and set as our next destination. And the flying taxi service can take you to some places you've visited before. Places you can fly to indicate with a feather mark. Try taking a flight. 
So all those birds are carrying it, are they? Not one big one this time. So we got some bugs. We got some magic ups. And our destination down the road. And a mini-map! I should have tried to spin the thumb stick with it on. That's not bad. That's weird. I don't remember this actually being a function in any game before. Why is this not a map function in any game before? That's kind of weird. This makes sense. Why does that make sense? Has any other game done that? I don't remember. <laughs> Spigatito over there being an actual cat by staying far away. Can I run? Is there a button for run? Okay, he does that. That's camera. Okay, minus is start is nothing. Uh, up. Left, we've got emotes. Uniforms! Okay, we can change our look up a bit. I call out the winner uniform. High socks. Can I take my hat off? Performance sneakers? Instantly get away from mum and put on just some normal clothes. Gloves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, school backpack or canvas bag? I think the school backpack's better. Okay, uh, remove hat. Ah! We're free! Why is there a school helmet? <laughs> I don't need that, thanks. Some glasses? Oh, now I'm looking a bit more fly, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can run now! It's because he required me to change clothes, obviously. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. It's obviously the shorts. I couldn't run without things, like, going wrong. The power of science? The power of science is amazing! If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Yeah, I'm looking smart now. Right, well, uh... Let's go to our destination. Is there something down there? Oh, there is. A Pokeball. Can I go catch Pokemon already before I've even gone to our destination? That's the question of itself. that now, are you? Are these Freeze Trainer? What? <laughs> are you these Freeze Trainer? Sure. Not quite. That's all Xandri is yet to make this choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he will choose as his first Pokemon. Don't litter. It's not even a choice for us, is it? Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, it's our Academy's newest student, Master Olazandri. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved in up the road? been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What are you saying, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Sure. Love that enthusiasm. We're going to get along just fine. 
Mr. Mona is the president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now, you two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice, we'll be able to battle all we want. So glad I changed my clothes before meeting the next door neighbor. On that note, Master Roller's Andrew. First impressions matter. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Yes, we have, because we always go by a system switching between grass, water, and fire. And thankfully, the system has come to a beautiful kitty cat. Yes, kitty cats, where's that? Yes! Give me it! Sprigatito, the glass type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our good grass type Pokemon, Sprigatito, here? No, I want to go with the bad grass type, sure. Yes, the correct choice. You chose Sprigatito! Would you like to give Sprigatito a nickname? No. It's my gato. Oh, I'm living my kitty dream. I want cats on my arms. <laughs> Splinkatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Olazandri. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. What is Andrew? I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Why, thank you. I thought you were going to say something like, It's terrible. Fire is the best. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Mr. Mona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Olazandri while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Olazandri here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Olazandri chose Spigatito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. Poor Fukoko. As you may have noticed, Mr. Mona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Yes, sir. Battle on the Mona. I can check it on the map, can I? Okay, can I check out the rest of the grounds? Because there's probably goodies for me to steal from her house. A potion. Oh, there's goodies all over to steal from her house. Or she's just a litter bug. An antidote. I bet this is going to stop me going around. Oh, no, I'm fine. Nice stained glass door house. This would be your parents then. Or family in general. Where does dust come from? I find it just as baffling as the things that Pokemon can do. Baffling? My apologies, both the master and mistress of the house are away at present. Okay, you're not family, you're the help. <laughs> My god, they're rich as hell! How many people do they employ? Look at this Eevee picture. Sibling love? No, no, no. No, we're not having any of that here. Oh, you mean, you mean pure. Okay, phew. This is Hidden Ninja. Is this supposed to be of a Pokemon? Yes, it is. This paint is the Gleaming Seas. It's gorgeous. I can't see it. My God, how rich are these people? It's not Westeros in that house.
All right, grab another potion. Only the first time we grab an item does it give us a prompt. This would be my goal then. Over here, I can see. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have a Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Olazandri? Yes, but first of all, I'm wondering why I'm so short. Is it just the age where the girls have to grow sweat first? Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master Olazandri is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Yeah, whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, Alexandri. Let's have us a fruitful battle. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. He's hiding loads of spoons in their gloves. Go, Sprigatito versus Quaxley. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Is it? You presume wrong. Have leafage. Use her attacks by pelting the target with leaves. <laughs> How long has she been trying? I think she's given me the win. You must have been studying up. Smart move. Grass is strong against water. Okay, good. You're using Pound instead. I think you'll take another Leaf to the face. Sayonara, Quaxley. Splinkatito reaches level 6. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Oh, she also gave me money. Good. Look at you, winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Master Olazandri and Sprigatito are surely weary already from that last battle. Ah, uh, sorry. I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Olazandri. Same chill Sprigatito too. She just wanted to get a win back by fighting me with some kind of like higher level Pokemon, probably. Let's battle again soon. She'll love that. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure you can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Well, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex app has been added to the Rotom phone. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jack, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Ah, the good old back in my day. It was quite the age we live in now. See, back in my day, we still have Pokedexes. Ah, oh, filling out Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is truly timeless ple pleasure indeed. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Miss Master Olazandri to the academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. All right, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. I always feel bad for the third wheel Pokemon. Maybe I want to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. All right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Olazandri, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me.
I mean, she'll probably give me loads of balls. She's rich as all hell, after all. All right, press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone in a flash. And we can also navigate to my Pokedex by pressing the X button from the map app. Follow Nimona. Well, I will, but there might be goodies. Let me check around a little first. Oh no, tall grass. I guess it doesn't count. Well, getting another Pokeball doesn't hurt. And there's something over here, but is that behind a rock or in a rock? I'm not actually sure. Behind. It's interesting to have the map all on display as well. Makes it, uh... It'd be nice if it could tell me where I've been and where I haven't been. Do you know what I mean? Some maps like Fog of War, that kind of feel does work just for being able to say, ah, I've been there, I've got all the items. I'll never quite know. But I guess it's not even the point of the game to begin with. Gotta find them all. 